guys! Today's video are tips for saving money with guinea pigs. Guinea pig care can get really expensive and while there are certain areas where you shouldn't save money, such as at the vets, there are ways to save money. Number 1. Buy in bulk. Buying in bulk saves so much money. Hay in small packages is ridiculously overpriced. And you don't even need to think in farm size bales. You can get smaller bales of hay from farmers. Check locally or call farmers and ask whether they ship a certain amount of hay. You can store hay for a long time, so you don't need to worry about it going bad. I pay around 15 euro for 15 kilos of hay. In the supermarket or pet shop, I would pay twice as much. The same is true for bedding. Ask for leftovers. You can get leftovers for free in the supermarket. Things such as carrot green or kohlrabi leaves are often left lying around in the veggie section. Many people buy the vegetable but cut off or remove the things they don't eat. Sometimes they also get cut off during transportation. The supermarket is only going to throw these things away, so they often let people take them for free. If your supermarket doesn't offer this, you can also go to a farmer's market and ask around. They often offer you to bring a bag to them in the morning and then they fill it with whatever is left over and you can pick it up later that day. Of course, your guinea pigs still need regular veggies, but it's a way of adding to their diet and find some nice treats for them. Find food in nature. If you go on walks, you can collect grass, dandelions, chickweed, cleavers and many more. Grass is actually the most important part of your guinea pig's diet as hay is dried grass. Introduce it slowly if you feed it for the first time. Foraging saves lots of money as dried forage is quite expensive and in summer, grass usually makes up a huge amount of their diet. Do it yourself! Store-bought cages or hiding spots can be very expensive, so why not build them yourself? They don't have to look perfect. As long as they're safe and provide shelter, your guinea pigs are going to love them. You can also use cardboard boxes as temporary hiding spots. These things are the best anyway, according to my guinea pigs. You can hide in them, chew them, move them. They're essentially guinea pig heaven. Put some hay or grass in them and your guinea pigs will be super happy. You can also use old towels as hammocks or fleece beds. Wrap up hay in an old sock. There are many ways of entertaining your pet without spending a ton of money. Use fleas if you live in a country where bedding is very expensive. If you live in a country where bedding is extremely expensive, think about switching to fleas. Of course, you have to pay for the initial purchase of fleas and then for water and electricity when you wash the liners, but if bedding is very expensive where you live, then fleas might turn out to be way cheaper in the long run. Share your food with your piggies. When you cook a lot, make sure you share your food with your piggies if it's guinea pig safe. We always end up with lots of food that we don't use for cooking, such as peels of carrots if you make a nice veggie bolognese sauce, the end parts of a zucchini, celery leaves and pieces of eggplant, just to name a few. Of course, you should never feed veggies to your guinea pigs that have gone bad, but there are tons of recipes where you end up with leftovers for your guinea pigs. Something that I really want to stress is that your guinea pigs won't care whether the hammock is beautifully made with a super adorable pattern or whether it's an old towel. All adorable products you can buy for your pets are marketed towards humans. You are supposed to think that the product looks appealing, which makes you want to buy the product. Your guinea pig won't care. So don't be sad if you cannot afford all of the products and fancy packaging at the pet store. Your guinea pig will be just as happy with toys you can make yourself. And sometimes the best toy is simply moving or turning around something in your guinea pig's cage. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye!